Hi everybody, my name is Milan and in this video we're going to implement another amazing task. So first let's take a look at the task here we have. Implement a recurrent neural network, RNN, for music generation. With JavaScript using practical example. Now I'm going to guide you how to do it step by step using practical examples. But before that, please make sure that you've subscribed to the channel. Okay, let's start. Sure. Here's a step by step explanation of how to implement a recurrent neural network, RNN, for music generation in JavaScript. Step 1. Import dependencies. We need to import the necessary dependencies for our RNN implementation. In this case, we'll use the TensorFlow JS library, which provides the tools for building and training neural networks in JavaScript. We also need to import any required music data or libraries. And here is the rest of the code. Let's continue. Step 2. Prepare the music data next. We need to prepare the music data for training our RNN. This could involve parsing MIDI files, converting audio data, or any other required pre-processing steps. The exact details depend on your specific dataset and requirements. Step 3. Define the RNN model now. We can define the architecture of our RNN model using TensorFlow. JS. We need to specify the number of LSTM, long short-term memory, layers, the number of hidden units in each layer, and other hyperparameters. Additionally, we define the shape of the input data and the output dimensionality. And here is the rest of the code. Let's continue. Step 4. Compile the model next, we need to compile our defined RNN model. This includes specifying the loss function, optimizer, and any additional metrics we wish to track during training. Step 5. Train the model we can now train our RNN model using the prepared music data. This involves specifying the number of training epochs, batch size, and other training configurations. And here is the rest of the code. Let's continue. Step 6. Generate music after training, we can use the trained model to generate new music sequences. We provide an initial input sequence and sample from the model's predicted probabilities to generate the next note in the sequence. This process can be repeated to generate longer music compositions. And here is the rest of the code. Let's continue. That's it. This is a basic overview of how to implement an RNN for music generation in JavaScript using TensorFlow JS. The specific details and code implementation may vary depending on your dataset, model architecture, and other requirements. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you've learned something new. And hit the like button to support us, please. See ya.